Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to talk about COVID-19 and how it relates to pregnancy. So let's get started. Now it's important to note that the information about COVID-19 is always changing because they're always finding out new information about this virus and how it affects pregnant women. So always stay up to date with the latest information released by the CDC, your state, and OB provider. But first let's do a quick overview about this disease. So COVID-19 is a disease caused by a new type of coronavirus that we haven't seen in humans until now. Now there are many other types of coronaviruses and we've actually had other outbreaks in other parts of the world like MERS and SARS. But COVID-19 is the first one to cause a pandemic worldwide. Now the specific coronavirus that causes COVID-19 is called SARS coronavirus 2. SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Now this is not the same virus that causes SARS. They are different, but they are similar genetically. So that's why they have similar names. Now how does COVID-19 get in your body and cause you problems? Well, it infects your respiratory system. So it can get in through your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. And then whenever it gets in there, it can cause some respiratory problems. Some people may have mild problems. Some people can have severe problems where they can have acute respiratory distress, they can't breathe on their own, and they need mechanical ventilation. So it varies in people. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of this virus? They include fever, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, and GI symptoms. And one thing that's really interesting that the CDC has said is that some people with COVID-19 have experienced gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea and nausea prior to developing fever and lower respiratory tract signs and symptoms. So that's important to note that before you get the onset of all those respiratory symptoms, you may have GI symptoms at the beginning. Now signs and symptoms of COVID-19 may appear up to 14 days after exposure. So some people can be without symptoms, which we call asymptomatic and be contagious which makes this virus harder to identify in people who are contagious, and it makes it easier to spread and in a sense harder to contain, which is why social distancing is so important. So we know that COVID-19 infects the respiratory system, but how is it primarily spread from human to human? How do you really get it? Well, there's two ways. The first way it's primarily spread is through respiratory droplets. So what that means is like naturally, whenever you sneeze, you cough or you talk, you're putting out these little water droplets. Well, if you have COVID-19, in those water droplets, you have this virus. And if a person is close enough to you, whenever you're talking, sneezing, coughing, whatever, they can inhale that virus through those droplets, which is why it's so important we keep at least a six feet distance from other people because that helps decrease that risk. Also, if that person who's infected with COVID-19 is coughing, sneezing, those water droplets are falling on objects around them. They could even be coughing on their hands, not washing them, touching objects with that. And if you come along, you touch those objects, even shake that person's hand, and then you go and touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth, you can infect yourself with this virus. So that is why you don't want to touch these areas on your body, especially if your hands are unwashed. And you always want to be performing hand hygiene very often for at least 20 seconds with soap and water or using hand sanitizer. So with that overview of COVID-19, let's take that information and apply it to pregnant women. So during pregnancy, a woman's body really changes, specifically her immune system. And what happens is that her immune system is more susceptible to germs, where before when she wasn't pregnant, she could normally fight off these germs and not have serious complications. However, whenever she becomes pregnant, her immune system in a sense becomes compromised 
guys, and she can't fight those germs as well as she normally could, and she can develop those serious complications that go along with many respiratory illnesses. And this has been seen in pregnant women who have had SARS and other respiratory illnesses. So the first question is, does this virus that causes COVID-19 affect pregnant women in the same way like how the SARS virus did in other respiratory illnesses? To help us answer that question, we are going to look to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Now, unfortunately, the research at this time is very limited and not conclusive on how COVID-19 affects pregnant women and their babies. But the College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists give us a little insight into how COVID-19 may affect pregnant women because they can look and see how other coronaviruses affected them. So here's a direct quote from them. They say, pregnant women should be considered an at-risk population for COVID-19. Adverse infant outcomes like preterm birth have been reported among infants born to mothers positive for COVID-19 during pregnancy. So from this, we can glean that pregnant women should be considered an at-risk population based on the fact of how other coronaviruses have affected them in the past and that we need to be aware that there is a potential problem like preterm labor for mothers who are carrying babies and they become infected with this virus. Another important question about this virus and its relation to pregnancy is if a mother who's infected with COVID-19, can she pass this virus to her unborn baby? Well, the data is not 100% clear on this, but it does seem like there is a low chance of this happening. However, the studies that are out there, the results are a little conflicting, but it can help provide some insight into this. And there are some studies that were posted by Harvard Health about cases of pregnant women having COVID-19 and giving birth. So one thing it noted was that in this study, 38 women infected with COVID-19 had newborns who all tested negative for the virus. However, there was another study that was done in this study was actually done in China, in Wuhan, China with women. And out of the 33 women infected with SARS coronavirus 2, three of the newborns tested positive for the virus and had signs and symptoms. But here's the catch. They were tested days later after they were born. It wasn't right after birth. So they're not really sure, did they get exposed after birth and this is how they got it, or was it indeed passed from mama to baby? Now let's look at some other important questions that pregnant women are gonna have about this virus in relation to their pregnancy. So first, breastfeeding. Let's say a woman does have COVID-19. She has a baby and she wants to breastfeed. Well, can she pass that virus in her breast milk to the baby? According to the CDC, they are not 100% sure on this because studies are very limited on this virus. However, with the SARS virus, women who were pregnant, had babies, they did not have the virus in their breast milk. So the World Health Organization does recommend that a woman breastfeeds if she chooses to do so. However, she wants to follow the following transmission precaution guidelines. Washing your hands very often. This means before and after touching baby. Wearing a mask, this is gonna help Decrease that chance of you spreading the virus through your respiratory droplets to the baby. Following respiratory guidelines for when you cough, sneeze, covering that up. If you do have to cough, sneeze, do that in like a tissue paper, dispose of that properly, and then immediately wash your hands. And then disinfect surfaces and supplies that you're gonna be using. And if you're too sick to do this, you could pump your milk, but follow those transmission precautions with the supplies and how everything's handled. And you could have someone who as well, who doesn't have COVID-19, feed the baby with a bottle. Another important question is about working. Should a pregnant woman be working out in public, specifically as some type of healthcare provider? Well, it really depends. Like it depends on what type of environment you're working in. Are you working in an environment where you're exposed to a lot of patients who have COVID-19? 
What type of procedures do you do at your job? Are you exposed to a lot of respiratory secretions? And are you living in an area that has a lot of cases of COVID-19, like New York? Or do you live in more of a rural area that does have cases, but it's not as widespread as compared to New York? So those are things you wanna ask yourself and even collaborate with your manager and see what your facility is implementing for pregnant women. Now, currently, the CDC does not have specific guidelines that say, Pregnant healthcare providers cannot work in certain areas, but they do recommend that facilities have in place where pregnant healthcare providers are limiting their contact with patients who do have COVID-19. So those are things, if you are pregnant, that you want to think about. Another question is regarding treatment. What is the treatment for a pregnant woman who does get COVID-19? Well, it really depends on how severe that pregnant woman has it. Overall, for everyone, there is no specific treatment for this illness. They don't have a vaccine. So a lot of people get mild cases. For mild cases, you're gonna stay at home and you're gonna self-isolate from other people. Now you wanna be monitoring for some things like your breathing status because this can change where you have trouble breathing. So if you develop trouble breathing, you would wanna notify your medical provider. Also, as a pregnant woman, you wanna be looking for other things you would want to be monitoring fetal movement. So if you're far enough along to feel that, if a decrease in movement, you would want to notify your OB provider immediately. Along with signs and symptoms that you may be having preterm labor, like contractions, you're bleeding, or you're leaking amniotic fluid. Those would all cause reason for concern. Now in severe cases, some people have to be hospitalized because their breathing gets really bad and they have to have mechanical ventilation to help them with breathing. So let's say that you think that you may have COVID-19 or you've been exposed to someone who has it. You would wanna not just rush to your OB provider's office because you don't wanna expose other people, but you'd wanna call them first and tell them and they will advise you what to do. They may advise you to go to a testing site or they may have you come into the office. But either way, they will be prepared for your arrival with their PPE and you want to wear a mask when going out. And lastly, what if you have COVID-19 as a pregnant woman and you're fixing to deliver your baby? What's gonna happen to your baby after it is born? Well, the CDC currently recommends that mama who is positive for COVID-19, be temporarily separated from her baby. So they can decrease the chances of that baby getting COVID-19. And of course, baby will be tested for this virus. But this really depends on your provider that you have, what facility you're delivering at, there are resources available. So if you are worried about this, which most pregnant women will be because no one wants to be separated from their baby after birth, you need to really talk with your OB provider and you guys need to develop a plan of what's gonna happen after a baby is born. Okay, so that wraps up this video over COVID-19 and pregnancy. But I want to end this video and speak to the pregnant women who are watching this video at this time. So pregnancy normally in itself already requires a lot of planning and prepping, and you do have some worry like, How's everything gonna be? How's labor gonna be? How's the baby gonna be? Things like that. But whenever you're going through a pregnancy during a time like this, it just majorly increases your planning, your prepping, and definitely your worry. So it's vitally important you stay up to date with everything that is going on. Staying in contact with your OB provider because this virus, the information they get on it is always changing. Like if you're just watching the news, you hear about potential treatments the guidelines, everything. So as a pregnant woman myself, I'm in the, my second trimester, almost third trimester. Truthfully, I have really been worried at many times. And I know if you're pregnant right now, you're probably like me. You have your moments where you're good, but then you have your moments like, oh no, how's this gonna be? I just want this thing to be over. I want this pandemic to end. So whenever baby gets here, everything can return back to normal. So. Just remember that there are many, many steps that you can take to ensure the safety of your baby and yourself. 
And personally, I truly believe that this pandemic is going to be over very soon. So in my next video, I am going to talk about some steps that you can take as a pregnant woman specifically to prevent yourself from getting infected with COVID-19. Plus, I want to share with you my experiences as a pregnant woman going through this pandemic. And I'm going to give you some things that you want to be thinking about prior to the arrival of your baby so you can be the most prepared. So if you're interested in checking out that video, I will be releasing that video next. And thank you so much for watching.